Once you get this into your workflow, you will be thinking, how did I ever live without this? Let's be honest, when it comes to editing videos, it can be painful. If you're editing a talking head video, especially if you're doing a lot of corporate work or you've got this big epic interview, it can be a lot of work to edit it until now. Ignore all this. Yeah, this is, this is like... Yeah, okay, that's made it worse. Yeah. So here's the thing. Get your sequence into Premiere Pro. <laughs> yeah, that looks better. And all you got to really do here is jump into the captions option within Premiere Pro, and then you got to transcribe your sequence. Now, there's something that you should really make sure of here. Do this at the early days, not kind of when the whole thing is finished, because that's not going to how it's going to work at all. If you want to supercharge your workflow, do this at the very, very start. So Premiere Pro is going to transcribe your sequence. It's going to send it to the robots. The robots are going to listen to it and figure it all out. Now, you've got your sequence. You don't necessarily have to create a whole lot of captions here. They don't have to be on screen. But once you've got your caption done, have a quick scan through to make sure there's nothing kind of completely blatantly screwed up that the robots didn't hear right. And then, are you ready for this? This, this has really helped me around to work with kind of long form video, okay? I recently shot a kind of a testimonial for my day jobs, kind of about two and a half hour talky head stuff. Now, here's the thing. To maneuver around that, I could use markers, and there is nothing wrong with markers, but unless you're really disciplined with markers, you can delete some. If you're cutting stuff up, they can disappear. You might drag it, and yeah, you can extend them and highlight and all that, and they're all great and they work very well, but I think markers are a kind of a big discipline, especially in long form stuff, and by all means use it, but this is a far easier method with this closed captions. So all you gotta do, let's say you've shot the interview or shot the talkie head stuff, you know there's certain words in that because you've been listening to the interview or the talkie head as it's been going on, or you've watched the whole thing through and you're like, okay, they said that, that, and that. All you gotta do now is go to the closed caption section in Premiere Pro for your clip, your video, your talkie head, search for those words. Let's say in my case here, testimonial was around an agency and they use the word time logging or time or agency or client quite a bit, which was kind of really important to the story. And then all I had to do was literally go to the captions, type it in and boom, there it is. It brought me exactly to where that clip was. And depending on whether you're doing a pancake kind of timeline editing where you're dragging one clip to another timeline just for the story or whatever way you're doing it, this saved me so much time because I knew that word was in there and then it showed that it was there a couple of times. So I was able to concoct and make the story just that little bit better and do it two, three, four times faster by maneuvering around the timeline like this simply by using closed captions. Here's the thing, this closed caption stuff, it might not be new for an editing perspective. I know there's kind of plugin software out there online that's in the cloud that you can edit by words, but it, 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 this just brings you to the story. And the kind of little bonus feature of this as well, because if you hear and read at the same time, your retention level goes up as well. So it makes you that little bit more familiar with what you've shot because you're reading and listening at the same time. So for something like this, this can really supercharge your workflow. I think it's better than markers for longer form stuff, like for a five minute video, you might, I'm not gonna do this. But for so many of you out there who are shooting corporate work, interview stuff, your own talkie head stuff on YouTube, this is a supercharging fast way. Is that even a word? to move around and find the exact elements that you want. And you thought closed captions were just great for accessibility. I'm telling you, use this phenomenal power of Adobe Premiere Pro when it comes to closed captions, the transcribing robots or whatever they are. It's very rare they miss a beat. So let me know in the comments how you guys get on with this. Because once you get this into your workflow, you would be thinking, how did I ever live without this?